so I don't really know what to say here. I, f I feel like I need to respond to this Steven Crowder abuse video. Um, for those of you that don't know, Steven Crowder is a conservative commentator. He's super, or he was super successful on YouTube, went over to Rumble where he's been super successful again. And this week he came out and said, look, you know, the rumors are true, I'm getting a divorce. Fine. And then this morning, a video got released from his ring camera somehow, which showed him sitting on his back porch, smoking a cigar, just berating his wife, who is eight months pregnant. And the, and the clip is atrocious. No, that doesn't work either. You'll be back when you're back. That doesn't work either. <laughs> the only way out of it is discipline and respect. It's the only way out of it, we're at an impact. He already did pass. Good. Because you can't have any discipline respect. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You throw your hand, you give up so easily. I don't give up so easily. You, know, you give up so easily. I, I just said the only way out of this is discipline and respect. You said, then we're at an impact. Steven, no, we are at an impasse. Okay? I love you, but Steven, Steven, your abuse is sick. Your abuse Watch it. is sick. Watch it. Watch it. I'm gonna let go, I'll get what you need me to get. And I, I need some space. We need you to just talk and baby for a little bit. Okay? I love you. I love you very much. I don't love you. That's the big problem. Fair and it's disingenuous. Hillary, you're right, right in past. Become someone that's you need. Day in and day out, worthy of a wife worthy. No, not as a wife. I didn't say as a wife. Hillary, Hillary, come on now. I'm not going to engage. I'm not going to engage anymore. I'm going to go. I'll get texting what you need. I'll get you to me. I, I love you. I'm committed to you. Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to. Are you committed I'm enough to do those to things? That. You're not committed to anything. You're not committed to anything. You just said I love you. I'm committed to you. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. I need to Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm going to just do that. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to get the medication you're going to take? Don't you take that in? Take that in. You see, throughout the video, he is diminishing her, demoralizing her, criticizing her, and he's doing it in this superior tone, right? Watch it, you need to be disciplined, you're not doing wifely duties. It's this very sort of controlled, methodical sort of debasement of her character and her performance in the relationship. It's in a super abusive interaction, no question, full stop. I think it's also important to try and think about like how this happened. I believe that if you asked Stephen, are you abusive to your wife? He would say no. He would say divorces are messy. Um, things were, you know, I, it wasn't my finest moment. Things were taken out of context. If you knew the big picture, you would understand. And I know he would say that because that's exactly what he said today. Broken marriages are ugly and in them people do ugly things. Myself, of course included, I would never claim otherwise. However, due to recent misleadingly edited leaks to the tabloid press without context and not subject to consequences of the court, well, if not privacy, the next best option is truth. I will address all that is a matter of irrefutable legal record in full context next week. So, so let me say it this way. Nobody wants to be an abuser, nobody. But things happen in people's lives and that creates the monster. And I don't know what Steven Crowder's childhood looks like, but I know that he has differentiated himself as a conservative commentator by being both provocative and analytical. That combo has put him in a very powerful position as a YouTuber. So for example, he's most famous for going on campus and having a provocative, not provocative, but a conservative statement and then saying, change my mind. And then he waits all day and allows people to come that are less experienced in debate than him, that don't have the data that he does, and try and argue with him. And he typically dominates that argument. And that, I think, is his, in, in the tone, if you watch one of those videos and you watch how he's yelling at his wife, it's the same thing. Oh. Might I suggest it's your behavior, not because you're black or a woman. She has just made a statement about being assaulted, which is very vulnerable and it's very scary to do. I, he, I understand, yeah, I understand. Gentleman just called me a piece of shit, so she, I'm saying that's... She, 
sorry, she. my mistake. Come on, that's inappropriate, sweetheart. There's a self-righteous tone there. I'm composed, I know what I'm talking about, you're emotional and out of control. And so because of that, I can have a very linear argument and you can't, and I'm gonna prove to you how stupid you are. That's the shtick. And it works, it's entertaining, and it's engaging, right? He then takes that in his backyard, smoking a cigar, and he's got his pregnant wife who he is berating. But he's not saying to her, Hillary, you make me so frustrated, or God damn it, Hillary, I'm so mad. What he's saying is, Hillary, you're creating this. If you had more discipline, if you had more respect, if you did your wifely duties, if you, right, it's this very linear, like in his mind, very systematic breakdown of all of her poor behaviors and how she has created this situation. In his mind, he is being accurate, precise, and elevated. But the reality is, he is totally emotionally unregulated. But because it's not his intention to be an abuser, he will convince himself when he goes to sleep at night that that wasn't abuse. That was a bad argument. And things get ugly when you're going through a divorce. Right? That, that, the, the difference between his, his, his perceived control and his actual control, I think, creates the dynamic where a guy can be abusive and not recognize what he's done.